Hey everybody, welcome to a new video. Thanks for joining me again. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to keep your pastel drawings clean and crisp and how to make sure that you're not smudging one color into the other. I get a lot of comments from people who are struggling with that. So I figured I'd do a video about it. So in this video, I'm drawing a clownfish. It's a, a type of clownfish with one stripe instead of multiple ones. And it's surrounded by anemones. And for this drawing, I used so many different colors and also a very high contrast. So I used very dark colors, but also very brighter colors as well. And there's also a lot of detail in this drawing. So I had to make sure that I worked clean and that I chose the right colors. So I'm going to give you three tips about clean pastel drawing. So the first tip is to work from left to right. So I work from the top left to the bottom right because I'm right-handed. So that means when um, I draw and I lay my hand on the paper, the, my hand can't smudge any of the colors because the area underneath my hand is basically always empty when I work this way. So if you're left-handed, you have to work from uh, right to left. So think about that when you're drawing. It really helps keeping your colors clean and keeping your paper clean as well. So you can really see that I'm starting with the anemones first and then I move over to the left part of the body of the fish and I work my way towards the bottom right. So tip number two is to keep something underneath your hand when you're drawing. So for extra protection I use a sheet of plastic, but you can also use a piece of paper, glassine paper, that's the best to do, or another piece of paper. And make sure to put that underneath your hand. That also prevents the oils from your hand to touch the paper. And when you want to replace the piece of paper or plastic, Really lift it off the paper and then place it back again. So don't rub it across your drawing because that can also um, smudge the colors. And then my final tip would be to not do too much blending. So uh, I only blend when it's really necessary. So I put in my base layers first and I do most of the blending with the pencil itself. And uh, when it needs extra blending, I take my finger, but I try to not put in too many layers and to not blend too much because that can, especially when you're using your finger, you can easily smudge one color into the other. And that is basically everything I do to keep my pastel drawings clean and crisp, make sure the colors are vibrant. So I hope you found this helpful. This drawing took me eight and a half hours to complete. I have the one hour tutorial available over on Patreon. So if you're interested in learning more about my techniques, you can head over to my Patreon and subscribe there. And this drawing is for sale as well in my Etsy shop. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'd love to answer. And then I'll see you in the next video.